provided with the capacity of the LFU cache. That simply means whenever you have reached the full capacity and you want to do more insertion, you have to perform some evictions from the cache first. So as soon as you reach full capacity, evict and then insert. If there is capacity pending capacity, you can simply go ahead and insert. So remember this. The next operation is the get operation, which simply says you are you are passed the key and you need to return the corresponding value to for that key. In case the key is not part of your uh, LFU cache, what do you need to do? You need to return minus one in those cases. The next method that we have is put, wherein you pass two parameters, the key and the corresponding value, because it's we are basically implementing an LFU map, and with respect to that map, this key and value is to be stored. The rules of the put operation are as follows. Check if capacity is full. It should invalidate and remove the least recently used key. This is really important. The least recently used keys. And whenever there is a tie, a two element or two keys have the same frequency, which one should be invalidated? The one that was least recently used. So you are implementing LFU as well as LRU cache internally. Your LFU cache should take care of deleting the least recently used key whenever there is collision. And for the, the next operation that we have to take care of in the put operation is insertion. If the key is already present, what do you do? You update the value of the key, else you add the key as a new entry. Another important aspect that was specified in the question was Frequency for the key in the cache is incremented either on a get or put operation if that key already exists in the map. If the key doesn't exist in the map, the frequency corresponding to that entry would be nothing but 1. So if you have understood this much, then you have understood the problem fully. Now let's get and see how are we going to implement this up. I have taken the same example that was specified in the question. The main problem arises in terms of time complexity because the question says you need to create these methods that operate in time complexity of order of one this get method this put method and the constructor of LRU cache in order to solve this problem we'll have to create three maps and what are those maps let's try and understand their significance the first one is a regular key value map which basically stores the key and its value in the form of a hash map. Since we are building least frequency, frequently used cache, we have to store the frequency corresponding to each key that we have. So the second map that we have created represents the map between key and its frequency. The third map is the most interesting one and this is where the main problem arises. A lot of people are not able to think its significance. So this map is between frequency acting as the key of the map and the values would be the keys that all the set of keys that have this, this frequency. The data type of frequency is integer. For the keys we are storing it in the form of a linked set. Why linked set? Because the question said whenever there is a collision we have to delete the one that was least recently used. And in order to identify least recently used we are storing all the keys in a form of a set the one that was added first into this map represents the key to be deleted so you'll get to know as we will progress over this iteration so let's get started the first is call is of a constructor that defines the capacity of our lru cache so the capacity gets fixed at 2 the next one comes as we are putting a value 1 as key and the value as 1 itself. So we want to make an insertion for 1 comma 1. So what we are going to do, we will simply go ahead and make an insertion in key value map for 1 comma 1. Along with this, what is the frequency of this particular key? The frequency of this particular key is the minimum frequency that we have which is nothing but 1. So we will make an insertion over here for 1 comma 1 where 1 is acting as the key and 1 represents the frequency for this entry. The next thing that we are going to store is in the frequency keys map. So the frequency is 1 for this entry. So let me just write 1 over here. And what all keys have one frequency so far? So we are storing it in the form of a set 
only one is that key so inserted into our LRU cache. So this is it. So far, so good. Let's proceed ahead. The next insertion that we are going to do is for two comma two. So let's go ahead and add two comma two over here. Along with this, we will store the frequency for key two in our key frequency map. So the frequency becomes two comma one because the frequency for this entry for this particular key is one. Let's proceed ahead. Along with this, we should also make an insertion into our frequency keys map. The frequency for key two is one, so we will make an insertion over here. Let me just change the color of pen, and we will add two here. That means the frequency one is corresponding to two elements, one and two. One and two keys both have frequency as one. Let's proceed ahead. The next operation is put on three comma three. But even before making an insertion, what do we see? Check what do we see? We see that the LFU cache has become full. The capacity of LFU cache that was initialized was two, and we already have two elements in it. Therefore, even before making an insertion, we have to make one deletion. And what element will be deleted? The one that has least frequency. Which one has least frequency? What is the minimum frequency element? The minimum frequency element is one. And uh, let's extract this entry from our frequency key map. So this gets extracted, and out of one comma two, which one would be deleted? One would be deleted because it was least recently used. And this is retrieved by virtue of keeping the data type as linked hash set. The one that was added first. will be at the first position so i hope i make sense to you and with this we have deleted one from our map so this entry is gone so does this and let's go ahead and make an insertion for 3 comma 3 so let's add 3 comma 3 over here the frequency of key 3 would be 1 so let's write 3 comma 1 and along with this since the frequency of Three is one. We will make an insertion over here as two comma three. The updated value is two comma three in the set. So frequency one has two elements in it, two and three, in an ordered format. Let's proceed ahead. The next entry that we have is get over two. That means we have to check whether key two exists in our map or not. it does exist in our map so the value returned from here should be 2 along with this as per the question whenever get operation is invoked the frequency corresponding to that key will should be incremented by 1 that means the frequency for the element 2 should be incremented by 1 what is the frequency of the element 2 the current frequency of the element 2 is 1 it should be incremented to 2 and the same change should be reflected over here we check the entry corresponding to the previous frequency and in our frequency key map and we retrieve this we delete this entry from here because 2 no longer has frequency as 1 a new entry gets created and it would be 2 comma the set would contain only 2 in it that represents that frequency 2 has one element pointing to it and its key value is 2 i hope that makes sense to you let's proceed ahead the next operation is get over 3 so do we have 3 as part of our key value map yes 3 is part of our key value map that means 3 would be returned from here along with this we should be incrementing the frequency of 3 uh, what is the frequency of 3 the frequency of 3 is 1 it should be incremented to 2 therefore what we will be doing we'll be deleting this from here and making an insertion over here so you extract the entry corresponding to the previous frequency you delete that key from that set and you make an insertion at the updated frequency let's proceed ahead the next operation that we have is put and we will be performing put operation over 4 comma 4 but wait we have exhausted the capacity of lfu cache that means we have if i ask you guys which entry in our frequency key map has least frequency 
you will say one has least frequency however there is no element present in our linked hash set corresponding to one that means we will be skipping this up we will be looking out for the next higher value what is the next higher value 2 comma 2 comma 3 and this is what from where we will be deleting an entry so we will be deleting the first entry which is 2 so this is gone this is gone and this is gone now let's make an insertion for 4 comma 4 4 comma 4 gets added over here the frequency for in key 4 is 1 so let's write 4 comma 1 over here and let's make an insertion corresponding to the frequency value 1 and we will add 4 over here let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and we will be writing adding 4 over here the next operation is get over key 1 do we have 1 as part of our key value map no it's not there that means we'll have to return minus 1 in those cases let's proceed ahead next we have get operation over 3 do we have 3 in our map yes we have 3 in our map and what value corresponds to 3 3 corresponds to 3 so you'll be returning 3 from it along with this we should be updating the frequency for 3 by 1 unit what is the frequency for 3 the current frequency for 3 is 2 so we will be updating it to 3 and even before doing that what we will be doing we will be making a corresponding change in our frequency key map so we will extract the entry corresponding to the frequency 2 and we will be deleting 3 from here and we will be adding the frequency for the element 3 as 3 so let's add a new entry that represents the frequency and we will add 3 over here let's proceed ahead get operation over key 4 so do we have 4 as part of our LRU cache yes we have and what is the value the value is 4 so we'll return 4 over here along with this we'll be updating the frequency for the key 4 what is the current frequency for key 4 it is 1 let's update it to 2 along with this we'll be making the corresponding change in our key fre frequency key map so we'll extract the entry corresponding to the entry having frequency 1 it is this so we'll be deleting 4 from over here and we will be making an insertion for 4 over here this is it guys so if you have understood these steps we will be exactly replicating these steps in code so let's get started i have created a private variable that will store the capacity of our lru cache moving ahead i have created a minimum variable and i have initialized it to one that will help us identify the minimum entry that exists in our frequency keys map and along with this i have created three maps as i talked in the presentation key value map key frequency map frequency keys map and uh, here we have created linked hash set why linked hash set in order to avoid collision cases in all the collision cases you have to delete the re re least recently used key from our frequency keys map and this will help us serve the purpose let's move ahead and look at the constructor it accepts the capacity we set the capacity equals to cap equals to capacity we also create a new entry in our key frequency key map wherein the minimum frequency is one uh, uh, by default and we will be initializing it to new linked hash set let's walk through the get method now if my key value map doesn't contain the key that is passed as an argument we return minus one in those cases otherwise the key does exist in our map in the end what do we need to return we need to return from the key value map whatever value is stored at key apart from returning the value from the key value map corresponding to this key we should be updating the frequency for this key by one unit and this is what we should be parallelly doing so we extract the current frequency corresponding to this key from our key frequency map we remove that entry remove the we remove the corresponding entry from frequency keys map so we get the linked hash set and we remove that particular entry from it along with this we should be incrementing and storing the updated frequency for this particular key by one unit so this is what we have done from line number 34 to line number 40 so in case my key frequency frequency key map doesn't contain frequency plus one entry then what do we do we cre create a new entry in our frequency keys map 
and once we have done that what do we do we simply get that entry and we add key over there along with this we update the frequency in our key frequency map so the key gets frequency plus one value now we'll you will ask me what is the statement written at line number 31 to line number 33 do you remember we had to identify the minimum value that exists in our key frequency map and while inserting the entry for 4 comma 4 we made a deletion from this particular entry although we had one but since there were no values corresponding to one entry we looked out for the next higher minimum value and we used two in that case in order to keep track of it we are incrementing the minimum value over here with this we have evaluated the get method now let's look at the put one put one is even simpler than get if the capacity is less than zero we simply return if my key is part of our key value map what do we do we update the value from our key value map and we perform the get operation over the key pretty simple and straightforward if my key is not part of a key value map what do we do we check if we have exhausted the capacity or not because capacity should never be overloaded we identify the key to be evicted we check the minimum frequency that exists in our key frequency key map and we extract the key from it uh, once we have the key we simply remove it from the frequency key map key value map and key frequency map all three of them once we have created a capacity we make an insertion and this is what has been done here over here we insert into key value map we insert it over key frequency map and the frequency here would be one why one because uh, the element was not present in our key value map so since it doesn't exist it's a fresh entry therefore we have set it to one along with this we have repivoted minimum to one and again in our frequency key map we set the value at one index so let's go ahead and submit this up i hope i'm making sense to you guys all these operations have been performed in order of one time complexity order of one order of one With this, let's wrap up today's session. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye, take care and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead.